and now we've cleaned up the uh, the profile of the blade so you can see the edge all the way around is nice and clean we did not do the back because like I said we're gonna leave the uh, the forged finish on that uh, on that back um, I suppose we could clean up the spine if we wanted but it looks pretty straight and pretty clean I might give it a quick swipe across a, uh, a finer grit um, I did touch the flats a little bit there or the upper part of the, uh, the bevel it looks, it looks good and it you kept that uh, majority of that forge scale to kind of give it that, that, that look. Um, we might not do all three that way. I might give it a nice satin finish all the way through with one of the, uh, the other ones. One of them's a little more stout with it, with not as much width, so maybe that will clean up all the way. But uh, moving on. So. That's good. There's no steam coming up. Usually, if there's steam coming up, um, we know we're we're warm, and uh, it's good. We're not. So, quick passes on a sharp belt. Keep your keep your steel cool while you grind, and that's really what you want to do on something that's been that's been already heat treated and tempered. You don't want to lose that temper. So. to work our way back uh, with this 60 grit and um, probably work the bevel right back to about there that way our convex will be from there down again this, these um, we did forge our bevels in the majority of them that really is what grew the blade and shaped it but um, now we're doing our grinding so I'm gonna keep at this uh, we'll come back uh, when we've got the majority of this done when we're switching up to the next grit and get to a finish point and now Hit the other two as well. So hold tight. Hey, we made some great progress. We've got uh, one cleaver fully ground with our, uh, what did we say we were working at? Was that 60 grit? So a 60 grit belt, and it actually gave it a nice uh, uh, belt finish on there, but we've got uh, two more grits to go on this bevel. Um, I like the level of forge scale that I left behind and I think you can see there that I did forge in some texture to the blade I used a, a ball peen hammer to do that uh, a small ball peen and it kind of gave it some uh, some texture um, Just enough and you can see our logo in there um, I didn't stamp the logo super deep or our touch mark super deep. I wanted to just um, 
let people know who it belongs to or uh, or who created it, but I didn't want anything too uh, too uh, obtrusive. So this is the style. I love it. It's uh, going to be a great barbecue cleaver, a great um, uh, work utility cleaver, or even something for the kitchen. And uh, you know, something you got a stout finish. You can flip your your ribs on the grill with it. Flip your burger with it, so you can use it as a flipper, a chopper, and uh, yeah. Or I, uh, whatever, defend your whoever with it. <laughs> so good, uh, good utility, camp cleaver, barbecue cleaver, whatever you will. But I've got a, a really nice, uh, very finely ground bevel. You can kind of see from there. And uh, the grinding skills are just uh, where I want them to be at. So very happy with that. It is not sharp yet. This is a, a, a pretty dull finish. Um, it's pretty close. Uh, to forming an edge so we're gonna stop with the grinding for now on this one and move on to the second and the third and uh, Thanks for watching Hey, looks like we're all done. At least with the first round of grinding, we have nice finished bevels on all three of our cleavers. These are 60 grit belt grind bevels. So, and we also ground out the profile, of course, and we ground the handles nice and flat and clean so we can put handle scales on them. All three, as you can see, Nice, clean grinds. We'll do a little bit of uh, polishing up and uh, probably like a, a 200 grit belt grind when we, uh, after we get handles on. Um, we do it before we get handles too, maybe, we'll see. Either way, I'm gonna start on the, uh, on the bolsters next. Um, I gotta wait for this mask print to go away, but <laughs> then I'm gonna <laughs> pop that mask back on grab the angle grinder we're going to start cutting some brass and some copper to go at the uh the upper portion here i wish my lighting was better in here but boy that that uh that uh stamp looks good so proud of that that's my maker's mark so let you know who made it but uh see these two holes here we're going to put some uh one eighth inch pins through those uh they're either going to be copper or uh or brass uh, depending on what we choose for the cleaver. We've got three finished cleavers ready for bolsters and handles. So we will do two brass, two copper, or the other way. We'll see. Um, I've only got one order right now for these, and I'm swinging this by my face. I'm freaking me. <laughs> I don't know what chop my face out. Anyway, we've got one order. Uh, it's for this one with the longest handle. Uh, and my personal favorite. But uh, these are barbecue utility cleavers. And uh, we've got two available. So let me know uh, in the comments or uh, go to Dark Angel uh, Cutlery on Facebook or on Instagram and uh, DM me. Let me know if you're interested in one of them. Um, we've still got a little ways to go before these are complete. But for now, we're, uh, we're moving on to the handle phase. And uh, that's always an exciting uh, part in the process for me because I like this one too, boy. There's a nice forge scale on that. This one I really whacked good with that ball peen and gave it some great character. But uh, anyway, yeah, um, it's an exciting point uh, in the uh, build process for me because these handles are uh, ready for scales. And uh, the blades look good. So once those handles get glued up, that's an even more exciting part in the process because then I know I'm on the the home of stretch. So uh, on to bolsters, then handles, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.